Hey, so we just showed up in New Jersey. It's uh, technically day two. We, we got here a little early yesterday, did all our setup. Today is practice. Um, the car is all cleaned up and dialed in and ready at the shop. Casey thinks we're gonna have to do a gear change, but we'll see uh, when we get there. So yeah, let's go out and do some practice laps. The car is going to be fantastic, uh, should just go straight into practice. We got everything prepped at the shop before we got here. Um, had a little bit of damage to fix, Dan likes to treat the car pretty rough. So we had to replace a dog ring for third gear, the uh, car kept popping out of gear. So we got that fixed, um, we had to reshim the head, kind of sinking the valves up into the head a little bit, uh, something that we're going to take care of after this event. Um, but the car rips right now, uh, alignment's done, nothing bolted, everything's been gone through, fluids are happy. so. Uh, we're excited. Practice is going to start here before too long and the uh, team's ready to rip. First practice session's in the books. Uh, for some reason, the gearbox keeps wanting to pop out a third. We're really not sure why. We talked to Rick from RTS. Uh, he's actually who supplies the gearboxes. Doesn't really have a good answer for us at the moment. Um, so what we decided to do was run the car in second. Um, we got about 110 miles an hour wheel speed in the car. So we took out the 410 final drive ratio that we had in the car, put in a 324. Now we're running the car in second gear for the entire track. Uh, seems to be working. It's a little boggy. Uh, the car's not as responsive with that gear ratio in it. Um, however, we've got good grip and Dan's able to put it in the right spot. So we're going to see if we can go out for second practice. Dan can work the pedals a little bit harder, keep the turbo lit, keep the tires spinning and uh, hopefully we can make something of it. So it is the end of the day. We just finished up with our second practice session. Uh, the car did good. We made a, the gear change originally and it was a little bit uh, too laggy still or just too long so we changed the gear one more time to something slightly shorter still running it as a two-speed car is super happy I got used to the track a little bit more uh, we found what kind of tire pressure area we like to be in uh, and we're excited for qualifying of effectively day one, uh, day one of track time. Um, we had two practice sessions, made some big changes to the car between practice session one, practice session two, Dan liked them. Um, but we just could not catch a break in session two. Uh, I think we went out behind five people. We did two, two lead runs, they went good. Um, but we went out to chase five times and all five times the person in front of us broke, messed up, straightened, stop drifting, something. So we kind of spent an hour of uh, just chasing not great lead runs. Um, so hopefully tomorrow morning's practice goes a little bit better. Uh, honestly, we're probably just gonna do a bunch of leads, dial in that lead line, uh, qualifying's tomorrow night. So um, yeah, nut and bolt the car tonight, make sure she's good to rip and uh, that's pretty much a wrap for day one. Day two qualifying today, the car is already in line. We're going to do one warm up session and then jump straight into qualifying. Spec performance S15, or excuse me, S14.5 with that S15 front end. Oh, Stuki. Just dabs that little gold toe in there. Now throws the back end of that S14. And that second outside zone really gains some speed here. The latter portion of that outside zone. Past the front flip. And now into that final outside.
inside zone. Whoa, flirt with that wall. Gets tied to it. Well done there on the ladder portion. All right, so end of day two of driving. Uh, it was qualifying day. We had an afternoon practice session, um, which actually went really well. We noticed some of the things we really needed to change. Um, honestly, mostly just in Dan's driving. Um, made those changes. Uh, seven minutes to go in practice. Uh, had a contact with another driver that kind of ran over the front of the car, um, knocked the alignment all out of whack, ripped the bumper in half, broke the bash bar, uh, poked holes in the fenders. Like it was, it was kind of like a ah, uh, right before qualifying. So uh, got the car back. We actually pulled out of the line, said screw, screw trying to get another lap. Pulled the car out of the line, got it back, um, assessed the damage real quick, made some changes um, to get it back to where it used to be, um, cut part of the bash bar off, pulled the bumpers off, uh, and uh, Dan sent it out for qualifying. The new qualifying structure is a little weird. Um, I kind of like it though. It kind of gives some incentive for drivers to really push hard on the first lap. Uh, luckily for us, we qualified fourth, which is our best qualifying to date in Formula Drift. Um, we got 86 points. Uh, Dan did a spectacular job. We know where we're missing on the track and we know where we can improve. Um, we've come up with a plan to help us in our lead laps and we're super, super excited to go into battle tomorrow, um, especially being top four. Uh, it's, it's awesome to be at the top of a bracket for once. So um, super pumped. We're not gonna have bumpers, it doesn't look like, but um, you know, that's okay. We're gonna beat them up again anyways. So stoked for tomorrow. Everybody's gonna kick ass. Day three, competition day. We got shit to do. We came out swinging today. Uh, we won our top 32 against uh, Misko, and it was a great battle. He put down a good lead run. Uh, I think I was just a little closer on my follow, and maybe a little bit uh, better of a lead. Our top 16 was a heater against Derek Madison. Derek Madison always kills it, and he's one of my favorite drivers to follow. So I got an awesome lead run to chase down. It was it was perfect angle, smoke, the whole deal. Uh, I love driving with him. Moved on to top eight against Josiah with the Drift HQ boys. And I don't know if it was the gearbox gremlin coming back or if I maybe hit the shifter with my arm, but coming into initiation, I bumped it out of second gear back to neutral. Had a weird flub on initiation, had to grab the gear again, and I knew I had to just stick it to him for the rest of the lap. So I put my tire in his tire. I saw. I saw chunks of tire flying up past my face, so I know I was close. It was a good follow, but they gave it to him. In top eight, uh, Jose Falase um, had a little bobble on initiation in our follow. Um, kind of set us up weird for outside zone two. Just wasn't really the follow we wanted. Our lead, though, on point. Honestly thought we were going to get it one more time. Jose's uh, follow wasn't amazing, um, especially with how good Dan's lead was. Judges didn't necessarily feel that way. Two of them went with Jose. One of them gave us a one more time. But that's the end of our weekend. Top eight, still our best showing to date, best qualifying to date. Uh, we're pumped, we're excited, we're ready for the next round. Uh, the team did great. I did, I think, the best driving I've done so far in my FD career, maybe definitely this season. It's the farthest we've made it, our first top eight. And hopefully that means a top four or a podium next to me. Big thank you, like always, to the team, uh, especially with the contacts, with the wall and the other drivers we had this weekend. You guys killed it. You're always putting the car back together. Thank you to Emily the Spotter for being the eyes in the sky. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, David. Thank you, Kiki, always making me sandwich and keeping me calm. 
uh, and thank you Asante behind the camera. Thank you Part Shop Max, GT Radial, Tire Stacks, uh, Ignite Race Fuel, Clutch Masters, Willwood, 7K, you guys are all gangster. Uh, yeah, thank you FD.